Arabia polychroma, or commonly called cushion spurge. This is a great plant for the Okanagan, uh, one of the hardier species of euphorbia, typically known as an evergreen perennial that's very difficult to overwinter uh, in our Okanagan climate. But this variety is herbaceous, so it dies to the ground and uh, comes up fresh with all its new growth and blooms uh, early in the spring. Um, it's almost uh, the bracts are what change color. Euphorbia, uh, like the poinsettia, the Christmas poinsettia is a type of euphorbia where the bracts turn red. Well, this is uh, sort of the same idea where the foliage or the, the bracts there in the center are turning this golden yellow. So spring blooming, sun loving, drought tolerant. We've got it here in a sort of a mixed perennial bed but can go in the rock garden. So very uh, hardy, uh, versatile plant that way for uh, all sorts of conditions. Uh, but definitely does best uh, in, in full sun. And this will look uh, bright and colorful like this. Um, you know, it starts in uh, sometime in April looking like this and will go on for uh, oh, a good month or so. But then the, the color starts to lighten up or, or become more green, I guess. And then you start seeing the actual flowering portion, which looks like little uh, sort of seed heads opening up in the center uh, as it matures. And it looks like just a unique sort of foliage plant the rest of the season. So it has a lot of interest in the spring and the summer, which is uh, pretty much common with most euphorbia species. Um, but this is one of our favorite choices just because of its hardiness. Doronicum, or leopard's bane, another very good early spring blooming perennial, sort of half day sun, half day shade. We've got it here in our display garden facing west, so getting some good uh, late afternoon, evening sun. Um, just a beautiful plant to have in the garden to get a, a yellow daisy uh, early in the spring. Typically you think of uh, yellow daisies. Uh, as uh, you know, marguerite daisies, annuals, those type of things, but this is a great hardy uh, perennial, uh, giving you that bright yellow. Typically this plant will bloom uh, early in the spring, uh, you know, about starts blooming mid-April and has a good bloom time on it, uh, a good six weeks or so. Uh, we're beginning of May here and we still have lots of good buds available to us uh, to open up and, and give us uh, flower power later on uh, in the month of May, uh, maybe even the beginning of June. And uh, just simply deadhead the spent ones. Here's an early one that uh, is finished blooming. You just would pick those away and um, the new flowers will keep flushing out uh, from there. Usually down low here you can see all the little buds coming uh, up from the center. So for a uh, spring blooming perennial it does have uh, quite a long uh, bloom habit to it. <laughs>